Today we're going to talk about how serine proteases work. So serine proteases are a class of enzymes that cut amino acids. Since these enzymes use water as a cofactor, they're also classified as hydrolases. This is the reaction that a serine protease would catalyze. You can see the addition of water and you can also see how the amino acids just getting cut right down the middle. These are the three amino acid residues that are in the active site of a serine protease, and sometimes this is called a catalytic triad because they all work together to help the enzyme perform the reaction. Usually in the catalytic triad, there's a nucleophile, a base, and then an acid that stabilizes. Now this is a little diagram of the active site, and we're going to go through the arrow pushing and the mechanism of a serine protease. Now the purple is our polypeptide that we're going to be cutting, and as I said, we have those three amino acid residues. To make serine a better nucleophile, histidine steals a proton from serine, and now serine's a really great nucleophile. Now serine really, really wants some positive charge. It's a nucleophile. And because of our carbonyl, there is a partially positive charged carbon that our oxygen on serine is going to attack. Now to get out of this kind of wonky intermediate, the nitrogen is going to take the proton from histidine. Now that nitrogen is a really good leaving group, so we can actually break the bond we've wanted to break this whole time, and we have two separate amino acid halves. And to get that left side of the polypeptide off, disconnected from the serine, we actually have water come in, which has its proton stolen by histidine. The resulting hydroxide attacks that carbonyl carbon again, forming this kind of janky intermediate, and serine takes back its proton, allowing for a good leaving group, the detachment of that left side of the polypeptide. Now the reaction is complete. These products are going to be released into the extracellular environment. A new reactant's going to come in, and this cycle is just going to keep regenerating the active site which is always how enzymes should work. They should end up at the end of the reaction the exact same as they started, and that's essential for catalysts because they should always be like that. If you made it to the end of this video, congrats on learning something new, hopefully, and I hope you have a good rest of your day.